Bro's name is Stepdad. Alright, bro. Can't rely on my teammates for anything, I guess. They changed the scoreboard, I think. I don't think it used to be like this. I thought he saw him. I guess not. What's that, Kevin? Did you say? Streaming. Just a heads up. I didn't know if you were talking to me. No, I didn't even know. I, was, I said hi, but I figured you were away from your desk. reverse booster sitting in it. It's already scumbag. That's why I stopped playing war. There's so many people sitting in it now. Oh, I'm sure. It's actually I'm cancer. Sure. Bob is playing, uh, terminal. For now. Until my eye holes fall up. Warfare 2, Bosh Pit. I might do that for your shoot house of farm 18. I don't like the other two. I didn't like Crown Raceway or, uh, Dude, house looked okay. I haven't even even touched it yet. I'm still sad that freaking kill leaderboards were bugged playing war all last night. I got up to like top 300 on score, 400. Shotgun and sniper will be done in one game. Stay down and try to finish him last night. No way you lost that, teammates! Are you okay? Ah, let's call this bad boy in. GG's. Bro, how does the MGG, MGB kill your teammates before it kills the enemy? I know, I noticed that. It makes no sense to me, bro. The Pull My Yacht 762, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right, but that's what I'm calling it, so deal with it. 
But let's go ahead and showcase what we got for this bad boy. We got the Pull My Yacht 762, or what I like to call the PKP, because that's pretty much what it is. They just changed the name because they probably couldn't afford to use the actual name license in the game, as far as I'm concerned. But let's go ahead and showcase what we got. For our attachments on this bad boy, we got the Shadow Strike Suppressor. As always, my favorite suppressor. It's simple, it gets the job done, and I highly recommend it for this bad boy. For our barrel, we got the Heavy Barrel Pro. Uh, the Pyro, this is going to give you more bullet velocity and range with the weapon. Now, you are going to lose quite a bit of some movement bonuses with this thing so bear that in mind but this is an lmg so we don't really care about movement you're going to be hosing bullets down range with this bad boy at about 25 percent extra range with your weapon as well as 12 percent extra bullet velocity which is a huge help to this weapon as well for our laser sight we're going to be using these choreo last 44 which is the equivalent of the uh the um olev laser they're both pretty much the same exact thing except the one or the other one will give you more sprint to fire speed so these are both very good options just kind of pick and choose whatever you want to use in this one but in this gameplay i decided to use the last 44 laser here our site's going to be the same as always slimline pro you guys know that's the only site i ever use in this game it's still the best site highly recommend it throw that bad boy on you won't regret it and last but not least for our attachments here, we're going to be using the Not Z3 grip. This is going to give you extra recoil control as well as aim down sight of about 4% with this thing. Uh, you are going to be losing about 11% on your movement speed when you try to ADS with this thing, so just bear that in mind. But... The recoil control is much needed on this thing because this thing will bounce around all over the place. Now, you can throw on the conversion kit. Now, what this is going to do is this is essentially going to turn the weapon into more of an assault rifle. But just bear in mind, it does tank your range a lot on this thing. Uh, majority of the gameplay you're actually watching is uh, a mix of both the regular class setup as well as the conversion kit. And uh, with the conversion kit, you get a huge amount of movement bonuses. Let me actually disable my webcam because this is actually blocking it. Uh, if you guys take a look, you're getting 28% crouch movement speed. You're getting 17% movement speed, 14% sprint speed, 11% tax sprint speed, and also ADS speed at 30% movement speed while ADS, and ADS speed at 22%. That's a lot of movement bonuses, but like I said, you're losing a lot of range with this thing. So just bear that in mind when you use the conversion kit. It's not bad by any means. You guys will see that in the gameplay as well. But just bear in mind, if you want to keep your range with this thing, don't use the conversion kit. Just bear that in mind. But without further ado, guys, we got some beautiful gameplay lined up as always. Let's go ahead and flip right to it. That's how you deal with that, man. <laughs> Somebody shot me. That's not fire to you. I need something for the game. You're half too close for comfort. Objective Charlie is compromised. Back. I just got a little bit of skill there. This is like the only day I can really play because I have time to all weekend. That sounds horrible. Objective 
Bravo. Copy. UAV orbiting the AO. Recon is on. Enemy securing Charlie. Oh, I, I just kind of skip high rise. Is happening. Enemy taking alpha. Nope, not playing with that. Enemy oh my. Please, game. Oh, we got. Oh! Ain't no way, dude. We actually did it. Oh, we got the nuke with the conversion, bro. Let's get it. <clears throat> GG's. That's a nuke in the book. GG's man, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get it, man. Woo, that conversion kit is insane. Oh, you are most definitely trash.
Poor guy's just getting farmed right now by a turret. Mate, why did you have to steal my kill? Why? There's no need to do that. And I gotta do it. Absolutely no need to steal my kills, teammates. Oh, this guy's one behind me? He did spawn behind me. It doesn't matter, I got the new. Thank you. 